Welcome to the second Italy vlog. I didn't really vlog the past couple of days when we were in Pescara for the wedding that we came to Italy for, kind of took it off, and am now starting the vlog in the Amalfi Coast in Positano, and I'm so excited to be here. It was a far drive from Pescara. Pescara's on one side of Italy and Positano's on the other side, so we've been doing basically the whole entire country of Italy. If you saw my last vlog, we were in Florence and Lake Como, which were in the top, and then we went to Pescara for the wedding, and now we're on the other side, the Amalfi Coast for a couple of days and then we're gonna finish out in Rome. So I'm so excited, wanted to start off this vlog. We just got here and I wanted to give you a little bit of an Airbnb tour. The stairs to get to this Airbnb was absolutely insane. Thank goodness the host helped with one luggage and Christian took the other because I don't think I would have been able to do it with these stairs, it's crazy. and. We're gonna have to be taking them in and out every day to get into town and to come back. So it's a lot, but I'm gonna give you a tour. The view, the view is what sold me on this Airbnb. It's incredible. So I'll go out to the view in a second, but you walk in through the store. <laughs> Here's the bed. You immediately walk into the bedroom. It's a small apartment, but they own, I think a bunch of them. Um, Here's the little kitchen area and then the bathroom. Small little area and then I'll show outside, but the one of the owners actually owns this restaurant. So I think we're gonna try and go there tonight. We don't have a reservation, but they said that we could just mention that we're staying here and we can get a table, but I was looking into going to this restaurant. So I'm really excited. Maybe we'll try and go tonight. Here's the view, so you walk out. We came down a ton of steps. And then here is the view, it's absolutely insane. Insane. Crazy. That's it. Okay, it's the next day. Just put on a bathing suit and then I threw on this little sarong from Amazon. I think I'm just gonna take a photo in it before we leave. We're going to the beach club today. It's Arienzo Beach Club. It's with the orange umbrellas. It's a super popular beach club. So we booked a reservation for some chairs last night really quick. They had some availability for today. So we're gonna go there and spend the day and relax in the sun. I'm just gonna wear this. I think I wanna take a photo on the balcony or the, like the little area out here really quick before we leave in this sarong, but I had my coffee right out here with the most stunning view of the water. 
This Airbnb is unreal. They're incredible and it's actually in a really great location. It's just the stairs that you have to take to get to and from. The Airbnb is a lot and I did read the reviews. The reviews did say the stairs. They mentioned a lot of stairs and I was like, oh, it's fine. No, there are a lot of stairs. So I'll obviously be linking where we're staying down below, but keep in mind there are a lot of stairs to get basically everywhere, but especially back to the Airbnb. What I'm probably gonna wear to the beach club is this little dress. It's from Meshki. I'm trying to show it as best I can, but here's the back. It's a really open back, and I thought this would just be a lot easier because I'll have to probably pack a tank top to wear with this sarong and kind of just want to wear like a one piece, just something easy. So I think I'm gonna end up going with this to wear, but the sarong is really fun too. I'm wearing this hat from Lack of Color and we're gonna head to the beach club and spend the day. So what's included in the beach club is you each get a sunbed, a towel, water, you get Prosecco, a bottle of Prosecco, you get a starter per person and a main course per person. You can spend the whole entire day there. You can obviously add on food or whatever, but you have to pay for that. So it's not included in the price. So the beach club actually offers like a free like ferry that can take you to and from the beach club instead of going by car or walking. We are gonna take like a massive amount of stairs to get down to the beach. Actually, where the pickup is, is right where we had dinner last night. So it's very convenient and it will just take you to and from the area so that way we don't have to one walk or two pay for a taxi because it can get really pricey that way. But yeah, so that's really convenient. I think we're gonna go down there, get some quick breakfast and a coffee before we head to the beach club and spend the day. So that's what's going on for today. I'm so excited. And of course I'm gonna be vlogging the whole entire thing. Okay, quick outfit of the night. We're going to try and get some drinks at sunset at Franco's, I think it's called. We're gonna try and get out, but wearing this dress from White Fox Boutique, it's short. So keep that in mind if you're taller. And also this dress is like low cut and see-through. But I think it's super cute for Positano, if it's still available, I'll link it. I did get it in February though, so it might be 
not sold anymore. Okay, it's the next day. I didn't really talk to the camera yesterday. We spent the afternoon in Capri, then came back and we went back to Franco's for the last sunset in Positano, which was incredible. And then we went to Bruno for dinner and it was such a good last day. We've had such a great time over the past couple of days here in Positano. Highly recommend. Just a great spot to stay if you can. Be warned about the steps. Like everyone says, oh, the steps are so much, but they're so much. I have shin splints and my calves hurt from all the stairs. Also, it is a pretty big hike to our Airbnb, but the stairs are insane and we didn't realize until two nights ago that you could like take the road around so like two nights ago we took the stairs down to the beach and then 
it was saying how it was like a short walk to one of the restaurants that we went to called Da Vincenzo. And we took the stairs all the way down and then we had to take all the stairs all the way back up. And we didn't realize that we could take the road that wraps around. And it was just an easier walk. It was like slightly up and downhill, but nothing like the stairs. They're insane. We went to Capri yesterday, had lunch over there, and then came back and went back to Franco's, which I highly recommend. It's really cute, good for drinks, and it has a great view of the sunset. And then we went to Bruno for dinner. It was a great trip here, and now today we're leaving to go to our last kind of, I guess, last stop on the trip. We're going to Rome for two days and then we have one night in London. And I don't know, we're kind of debating on if we're gonna go out and explore in London because we're staying in the airport at London or in London, which is kind of far from the city center. It's like an hour long. So I don't know if we're gonna have a chance to go and see anything because our flight, I think, arrives in London at like around six o'clock. We don't know if we're gonna like even have time. We're kind of like a little bit worn out. It's towards the end of the trip. We've been a really go, go, go since August. 31st when our flight left to come here. So we're just getting exhausted, but we have a driver picking us up to take us to Rome. It was kind of a lot to figure out how to travel from Positano to Rome. It was almost like you took a ferry, but the ferry times were in the afternoon, or you took a taxi to a train station, then you took a train to Naples, and then another train to Rome. It was just a lot to try to figure out. So we had a driver from Pescara to here, and he was great so he's coming back to take us from positano to rome so it'll just be kind of like a breeze of a travel day which we haven't really had much of because we've been doing a lot of trains walking pushing our luggage around stairs it's been a lot so we need just like an easy travel day so we decided to book him again and yeah i'm so excited to go to rome and see the trevi fountain and all the other monuments like the Colosseum and things like that so i did want to share what some of the things that i got in positano this is the only stuff that we've gotten like the whole entire trip it was kind of hard to find like souvenirs in the other places that we went there wasn't a lot of i mean there was jewelry and things that you could buy in florence and Lake Como, there wasn't a ton of like shopping other than gloves and scarves. This is like the first stop where I found something or I found a few things that I wanted to pick up. And this has probably been like one of my favorite places throughout this whole trip, but it is really hard to kind of pick one because they're all so different. You can't really choose at the same time. I'm gonna try and unwrap this as best I can. Okay. The first thing is this lemon cappuccino mug. So cute, and it came with a plate. I'm not gonna unwrap the plate, but it comes with a little plate. I saw it and I loved the design and then the lemons. Positano is famous for lemons. We also had lemon sorbet yesterday out of a lemon and it was the best thing ever. So good. This is the ceramic, there's a couple ceramic shops in, oh, actually there's a ton, but this is the one that I got it from. So if you want to screenshot this and go, got it on the first night we were here actually. We were trying to go find some quick dinner and we walked down the stairs and it was right there at the bottom of the stairs. So next are two items of clothing. I always have to get some type of merch with the area that I stayed in. It's such a great memory and I always do this, but we got these, um, Christian got this one too, the Arienzo Beach Club t-shirts that was just a fun little memory of that place they're cute too and then of course had to get a sweatshirt so i got it with um positano on it and then it has like a little picture so that's what i got and that's it we're waiting on the guy to meet us here um, at the airbnb so we can check out and then we're gonna have the driver pick us up at 10 and then we're gonna head to rome and i'm so excited it's like a three and a half hour drive to rome i'm so excited and i'm excited to bring you guys along
Okay, we just made it to Rome. We're staying in this cute hotel. There's not much to show, but I'm gonna give you a room tour because I've done it the whole entire trip. Let's start over here. It's really, it's small and it's cute. So you come in here. Here's the bathroom. Here's when you walk in. I don't know how we're gonna open up our luggage. Here's the bed. Um, little closet. Little desk, coffee machine. But then we have a window right here and I think it just looks over some other little rooms that have little outdoor seating. I don't know if you can see which side. I think this is just a wall. And that's the room. I think we're gonna quickly head out and explore because we only are here for two days and we want to try and see as much as we can so we're gonna head out we are also staying at hotel duca de alba i'll put the name right here on the screen i'm probably butchering it just in case you're interested in staying in a place in rome or if you're looking for a recommendation it's really close to the Colosseum, so that's what we liked about it. We could see the Colosseum pulling up, so really great location to easily walk to the Colosseum and to the Trevi Fountain, so that was a plus. But we're gonna head out, get some food, and explore some. just we're basically in a food coma from having probably one of the best pizzas that we've had this whole entire trip all over Italy I highly recommend I'll put the name on the screen right here of what it was called we took the metro to get there because it was a little bit farther of a walk but we did a tour of the inside of the Coliseo today it's actually the Colosseum is actually an Americanized word for it so it's not actually called the Colosseum but we learned a lot. We, I learned what an arena was. It is like the term for the sand on the floor, which absorbs the blood of the gladiator fights. So it was just really cool to learn about the history and to see the inside of it and everything like that. So we did that, saw the Roman Forum, and then we took the Metro over here because our friends who came to Italy and Rome um, for their honeymoon, Um, our friends who came to Rome for their honeymoon recommended it to us and it was the best pizza we've had. Um, the pizza crust is actually, hold on. The pizza crust is actually made with sourdough and it was really good. So if you have a chance to go there, we definitely recommend. And now we're walking back, probably gonna 
chill in the room for a little bit. I need to wash my hair, so I think I'm gonna do that. And then go to dinner maybe somewhere close to the hotel. We actually went to a really popular spot last night, um, which went viral on TikTok and I had no idea. I think it's Nanarella or something like that. You guys saw, I took a couple of clips there. But that place was so good. I had the carbonara and it was incredible and Christian had the um, lasagna. Also really good. Recommend those places as well. But um, yeah, we're gonna head back to the room, just hang out for a little bit and then go to dinner and I'll probably pick up the camera a little bit later today. Okay, we just had a really long travel day and we made it to London from Rome. We had a six o'clock flight and we got delayed an hour. We just had some dinner downstairs. We're actually staying at a hotel in the airport. This hotel is actually really nice. This bathroom is really nice. The shower head. Actually having like a full size bathroom is pretty, pretty nice. I feel lucky. And then like a big bed that's like fluffy and probably so comfortable. But I wanted to go ahead and end off this travel vlog because we made it to London and we have a flight tomorrow at two o'clock back to Orlando. It's gonna be about nine hours. So not looking forward to it, but we're gonna try and get some sleep and then get up and head like basically downstairs to the airport and head home. So I hope you guys enjoyed these travel vlogs throughout Italy. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you back in Orlando. Bye.